Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. We've done the blood on here. Hey, hey, hey. I got my hair. What's funny is. Uh, Goze. Goze. <laughs> Goose. 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 Goze. Okay, maybe my wife's right. <laughs> but. <laughs> it's awesome, dear. I give it a nine. Mainly for the simple fact is. I don't like out of the cam. And. Okay, well, that's really the only reason. But Really? You didn't think it was good overall? Over oh overall I give it a twenty. Uh, it's it's, yeah, it's, it's a, better it's than it's a, a ten. Drinker. Yeah, um, first couple drinks kind of sour, but after that, it, awesome. Yep. I chose the Sam Adams Grumpy Monk. It's a Belgian IPA. It is a uh, six and a half percent. I do like a good Belgian ale. But this is a Belgian IPA, so we're gonna get the uh, hoppiness and the uh, peppery notes. Now, Samuel Adams, why would you name it the Grumpy? Because Belgians are usually typically made by Bel uh, by uh, Belgian monks. Monks don't drink. Or monks or in general, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they do. Do they? They make some of the highest alcohol beer you can get. Do monks drink? Yeah. Oh. Like, you know Chimay's? Those are made by monks. Oh, okay. And that's like 9, 10%. Well, alright, Samuel Adams, I'll shut up then. Um. Hell, I didn't think most drank. I should have rinsed this out because I'm getting kind of a sweet and sour, <laughs> kind of a feet smell. Yeah. Kind of a bad breath feet smell. <laughs> like someone hadn't hadn't ate anything for about you know 15 hours and they're they're talking like this close to your face and you're like, Ugh, that's that's stale. Yeah. That just smells like you. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's because. Oh man. That smells a little different now. It smells like uh, juicy fruit. Oh, out of your glass. Well, I know. I'm just smelling this. I'm getting juicy fruit now. That smells really good. I can't, I can't pinpoint the smell, but it's really good. Yeah, I'm getting a juicy fruit kind of a, a smell now. That's because this is taking over from that. All right. Let's do it. bitter. Very. Imagine licking like a cardboard box. That's sort of the bitterness you're going to be getting. Yeah, I'm getting the pepperiness. Very dry. Very. Which that's probably from the hops. Hmm. Grumpy, okay. Y'all gonna make me spit out this brand new dip I just put in, so I'm gonna actually get the flavor of this. Don't do that, huh? You don't have to do that. Yeah, uh, believe it or not, tobacco will change the flavor of beer. Mm. In a can of what was that? Red Seal. <laughs> How much is that shit? A can? Uh, four dollars. Yeah, right at four dollars even. Damn. And you only get about four dips out of a can. Nah, one can lasts me all day. Oh, really? Yeah. But it does get expensive because, you know, out there on the road, Oklahoma is four dollars. Out west, that can is like six. Damn. Now out east, that can is like two fifty. Oh, it's so much cheaper. Because. Tennessee, North Carolina, that's where they actually grow the tobacco. Mm -hmm. So it's cheaper, but you got West, they basically paying for what they pay to get it shipped to them. Mm -hmm. let's see, let's see. Daryl's gonna get into vaping. I'm gonna let him try some of my favorite uh, flavored juices and all. I sent some of them to uh, uh, Joey Cuz, and I'll let him know about some of those too. Yeah, see, this is a made in Nashville, Tennessee. Hmm. I'm actually excited to get into vaping. I'm hoping I can quit tobacco. So it's like this company I work for, the insurance 
if you're a non-tobacco user, they got this program you can sign up for and it saves you like $500 a year on the insurance. Yeah. Which is bullshit. I mean, just because you're a tobacco user, you should, if you qualify for it, you got to take an exam. So, therefore, tobacco shouldn't cut you out. I mean... How do they test if you use tobacco? I don't know. These doctors... They might test your blood to see if there's any nicotine in it. Of course, I, all you got to prove is the bait. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. Doctors are quacks. I'm sorry. You paid all that money for an education and half of y'all are stupid as hell. I just went and got a physical on that. Idiot told me I had sleep apnea. And the only problem I got with sleep is I don't like to wake up in the mornings. <laughs> I mean, that's the only problem I got. Once I'm asleep... He just wants to misdiagnose you, so you have to buy that fucking machine from him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know. Which my mom, my mom used that machine, I think it was like three grand. Yeah. She said she can't even sleep because the fucking mask constricts her and is loud as fuck. And that's how I look at it. Okay, so you tell me that I have a hard time sleeping now because my neck is 15 and a half inches. What? Yeah, because my neck's too big. Is the reason why he says that he believes I might have to sleep back now. What the hell does that have to do with it? I guess if you got a big neck, you got to sleep It's like saying back. your penis is nine inches long. You must have a hard time peeing. You got to take this pill. Make your dick smaller. It ain't even make no damn sense. Yeah, so... Well, there was another guy that was in there, and they told him he had to sleep back near because his tongue was too big. I, doctors... They make this shit up. Yeah. Yeah, they make it up. You know. You know how many doctors I've seen smoking outside of the hospital, but yet they inside preaching how... Or the motherfucking nurses and shit are 350 pounds. Yeah. Or dietary dietitians are eating Hershey's chocolates while they're trying to tell you you're overweight. I'm like, bitch, look at yeah. you, your tit tang to your navel and your ass fucking, you can knock down shit from across the room and not even, that, not even try it. Yeah, right. So, yeah, I, have, I don't feel too good about doctors. Anyway, uh, I've already made a video about it. But this is my current carry, the Glock 19. Um, yesterday I got a Glock 43. Um, waiting on the holster to get here. Of course, I just ordered it yesterday, so um, I got that's yeah, carbon fiber. Don't get a holster with carbon fiber. That shit is slick. If I go back in time, I'd have got a different holster. Get a standard standard Kydex holster. Um, Got 100 rounds of 147 grain plus P, 9 millimeter coming in. Uh, it's the Federal HST. Uh, right now I'm running the Hornady Critical Duty, 135 grain. Um, I love the HSTs. I, I run them in my 1911, so I'll be running uh, HSTs all the way around. So, I guess since everyone wants to sleep on this bill, the open carry. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm going to call down there, set up a, a date to come in to get my license. Yeah, um, there was two bills, two pro-gun bills. One of them was for a unlicensed open carry in Oklahoma, and the other was to uh, help ensure the no restriction from the federal government happens on the, the right to bear arms in Oklahoma. Um, the end of session was uh, two days ago, and those bills died so thank you uh, thank you congressman and all that say I wonder if I haven't went and went down there and got my seals I would wait for them to pass yeah Hell, they've been talking about it for four years now and he was saying something about DOT might allow truckers to start carrying yeah, they're working on that so if he gets his uh, concealed carry in Oklahoma I do believe 32 states might have to count again uh, do have re re recipro reciprocity in other words, they'll honor Oklahoma's concealed carry license. Uh, of course, he's in a truck, and your home, and your extension of your home is your vehicle. So even if he can't open carry outside of his truck, he can at least keep a gun in his truck. As long as DOT passes it. Yeah, and uh, you got you know, it kind of makes sense. There's, there are hijackers. You don't know what the hell you're carrying. Uh, you know, 
I could know what's on that trailer. He could not know as a driver. I could relay the information. There's two million dollars worth of shit on this trailer. Yeah. And the next thing you know, uh, intel from me to somebody else, he could uh, be hijacked and possibly killed. He's not fighting for his load. He don't give a fuck about it. He's, Hell no. He's, he's fighting for his uh, his right to live. If they pay enough, I drive the load for them. <laughs> yeah. So. It is what it is right now. If any of y'all follow the news out there on the East Coast, you got a Arab driver. I'm, I hate to point that out, but he is an Arab from the Middle East. They they do know that about him. He's another truck driver, but he's just riding up beside other truckers and shooting them and killing them. Which I mean, I don't care if you open carry or not. Someone pulls up beside you and you ain't prepared for it. But hey, if he happens to miss, <laughs> at least you can do a shoot out a couple of tires as he's passing by. Who yeah. knows? I mean, we we should have the right to protect ourselves. On I-10 through Phoenix right now, they have what's called the I-10 sniper. You know, no one knows where he's shooting from. He's shooting so far out they can't locate him, but he's killing truck drivers. You know, he's pissed off at truck drivers for whatever reason. Nito says he know that gun he's shooting with probably come on a truck. <laughs> I mean, you know. Definitely FedEx or UPS. Yeah, I mean, you know, the America, America hates truck drivers, but everything you own, wear, drink, eat, guess where it comes from. Yep. Trust me, I haul beer all the time. All right, now back to this beer, um, now that I'm out. You are getting the Belgian, um, not a lot of Belgian flavor out of it, uh, more towards the spiciness. Uh, you're getting mainly the IPA flavor, I'm getting a good hoppiness, a uh, good, good mix of pine and citrus. Not a whole lot on dryness. Uh, I'd say it's medium on the bitterness. If I had to guess, I'd say this is uh, near the 50 IBU range. Good beer overall. Um, nothing I would have a lot of. Uh, just not something I'm really down with at the moment. Uh, of course, it all depends on what you're eating. Uh, I like IPAs when I'm having pizza. Uh, 5.7%. Uh, not seeing anything about an IBU. I think it's a decent beer overall. So uh, I chose this. Uh, yep. spin. All right, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna give it a that. I'll say overall it's an eight. I give it a seven and a half. Okay. Uh, let's see. Overall, people gave this an eighty, which I agree. I don't agree with overall. I think it should be maybe a little lower overall. But as an IPA, they gave it a fifty-seven, which I think is a little low. So definitely. For Samuel Adams, is one that I like. Uh, yeah, I liked it a lot better than the uh, yeah caramel in a bottle. Which with this beer, you know, with bullshit talking about guns, um, truck driving, and yeah. this beer is good for that. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't. There wasn't a deviation in in score from beginning to end. Yeah, I thought it was the overall eight from from then to now. So. Yeah, and I was I was thinking seven to eight was why, you know, in my mind, me, I clarified seven and a half would be a good number. Yep. And it's uh, ten ten, so uh, we'll be seeing. Woo.